Hey going guys, welcome back. This is going to be my first rant video where I talk about any bit of news that happens during the week. And this week there were two big announcements made. And the first one is Atlas is bringing Persona 2 Innocent Sin to the PSP, which is really cool. Because out of all the all the Persona games, or out of all the Shin Megami Tensei games I haven't played yet, Innocent Sin is the number one that has me the most interested. Um, I've seen a couple of videos on the fan translated version and it looks really nice. It, it, it's nice to see where the Persona series came from. Um, I gotta say, the big story about Instant Sin was it was due to be released back in the day in 1999 in America, but the forces to be denied the game it's released on two aspects and one of them was one of the characters shows homosexual tendencies and that's that's something that doesn't interest me but to not release the game based on that I think is pretty stupid and I know that would be kind of offensive to some people but um, you know back then you know game there was nothing like that in game so I kind of see where they were kind of worried but I don't think it would bother me at all but to not release a game just based on that was I don't know stupid and the second aspect that they were really concerned about is one of the bosses in the game is Adolf Hitler which I always kind of found amusing for some odd reason but they kind of deny that release because they thought some you know another group of people would be offended so um, personally the two aspects doesn't bother me you know they don't really make the game. The game. There's so much more in the game that the game has to offer than just to focus on two little details. Um, hopefully they reconsider it this time around, you know, and hopefully we'll, we'll finally get a version of Innocent Sin. Um, I mean, if it does come up as a problem, hopefully Atlas will get around it. I haven't seen that far into the game where these two aspects take place. I've only seen screenshots of um, where Hitler comes in but I haven't spoiled myself that far so if anyone actually has played Innocent Sin um, you can make some comments and tell me how they affect the game if they don't really make a big difference or not I, I really hope they do have make a huge attempt because the Persona games have become a, a big deal um, since 3 and 4 come out they've been critically acclaimed they get um, best game of the year from a lot of RPG sites, so hopefully we'll see number two. Um, the other thing was is they Atlas in Japan wanted to bundle um, Eternal Punishment with Innocent Sin, but they found out quickly they couldn't do this. So basically, they just want to release Innocent Sin, and they're hoping that they'll be able to release Eternal Punishment soon after. So um, I'll be definitely importing it um, day one because I really want to play it. The second bit of news that has me more excited than any other bit of news happened this year was um, this is actually something to do with, with my all-time number one favorite RPG series of all time and um, my favorite game series of all time. I love it so much more than breathing, eating or anything and this series is made by Konami and they struck gold with the first and second games because they are without a doubt the greatest RPGs ever made and that is Suikoden um, in December you will see my Suikoden collection and find out that I'm more crazy than your average Suikoden fan um, it is absolutely humongous and I always find more things every year to collect of that series um, but that's going to be my biggest video that I'm going to do and I'm going to do it in December. The reason I'm doing that is because it's the series 15th anniversary which I'm really excited for. Now I actually planned this like at the start of the year so this has been a long time coming to do this video. I'm hoping that I'll have the necessary equipment so it's going to be in better quality. Um, it's more likely going to be not just one video but several where I'm going to do an in-depth review of every game of the series. It won't be just a quick little story about the experiences and a quick synopsis. It's going to be um, quite detailed and I'm hoping that I'll be able to record vi record footage. Um, so on to the announcement. The announcement was is 
Konami did not forget that it's its 15th anniversary, and they're giving fans something big, but it kind of comes at a risk, and that is, is they're going to release a 25-disc pack of uh, remix soundtracks of every game in the series. Now, this isn't the first time Konami's tried to do this. A couple of years ago, they did something similar for the Castlevania series with their um, 20th anniversary. And now they're going to do it with Suikoden. Now, I thought this was a definite thing, but there's a disclaimer saying that um, they want, they're want they only going to do this if they get enough pre-orders before December the 15th. And I'm at this stage wondering if it's good to take a gamble or not, because they're asking... Um, Three hundred dollars, um, in, in for me, three hundred dollars Australian or three hundred and twenty dollars Australian for the pack. Now, that might not seem a big deal, but that's a lot of money. And as big a fan as I am, I don't know if I'll be able to get that kind of money um, spare before December. So, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna miss out, but it's something I would definitely want more than anything for my collection because I know it would be gorgeous and I just wanted for the remix of the Suicone 2 soundtrack alone but yes um, I was really surprised that they announced it because I really thought that Suicone was going to go under the radar because ever since Tia Carice there or Tia Crease there hasn't been any big announcements um, Suicone's kind of taken a break and I was worried if they were going to do anything more for the series, but they've announced this, so I'm glad they acknowledged that th their biggest RPG series still exists. So that's kind of reassured me. I really hope that they have a story ready for Suicone 6, or if they want to make another Tear Christ game, because they still remain my favorite games ever. I still I like Number Four. A lot of people hate Number Four, but um, it's not my favorite Suicone game, but it is a Suicone game, and it is brilliant. Um, so yes, in December, I will be playing Suicone 1 and 2 again, because I want to. And it's been a long time since I've popped both games in, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm probably going to upload some footage of me playing the game. Um, I do want to educate everyone on the games because they really are the best games ever made, period. And they are some of the rarest games in history too. And uh, there's so much to tell. There's absolutely so much. There's, there's nothing I can tell of my experiences and my love for the series just in one video. There will be several. Um, all in all, there's nothing really else to report. So. I may do another video next week if there's another big announcement. So until then, take care and thank you for watching.